Hey guys, welcome back to Entertainment Corner. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mike Tyson Mysteries Season 1 Uncensored on DVD. So, I've never seen this show. Um, I've heard about it. It looked interesting and clearly enough for me to buy it. Um, again, same deal if you saw my last two videos. It'll be, um, I picked up My Name is Earl in Futurama Volume 6. And again, the same Winko, I bought this. Uh, $7. I kind of wish it was Blu-ray, but apparently they didn't make a Blu-ray for this, so... Um, but it's cool. Um, I watched the first two episodes. They're pretty good. It's it's an interesting show. I won't go too much into it. But, um, it, yeah, it's kind of just... It's calm, in a sense. Like, it's, it has its crazy moments, but it's just a very calm and, like, um, different show. I don't know how to really explain Calm isn't even exactly the correct word, but it's just, like, it's very... Um, it's just kind of focused on the four main characters, and then it just... It feels like a very... Um, barren world if that's the right word like there's not many people in it if that makes sense so, i don't know but it's it's funny i enjoy the pigeon obviously norm mcdonald hilarious um but yeah here we got the episodes on the back it's a nice slip box too i'm kind of surprised um, and apparently all the episodes are 11 minutes so um there's only one disc which you know that's pretty good um i will say warner brothers is quite lazy with their menus see I don't think until... Yeah, okay, so the Adult Swim logo is here, but I was, like, struck. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure this is an Adult Swim show, like, when I first bought this. And I was, like, I don't see the Adult Swim logo, like, on the front, because that's usually where it is. So I think this is just more of a Warner Brothers release. So it is technically an Adult Swim show, but... Um, yeah, no, I mean, it... I, I think had it been an actual adult, like... Or at least had Adult Swim kind of put it out. I mean, yeah, Warner Brothers would have printed it and stuff, but take a look at like Rick and Morty uh, seasons one and f through four or whatever I mean all the, all those have good menus but when you go to um, you go to stuff like this or you go to other Warner Brothers properties um, or DVDs like for example the middle season three that I have the menus are absolutely terrible or example uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog um, yeah those menus are like those really crappy pr like preset menus so that's the only thing that's that's I don't like about this, is just the menus are absolutely terrible. Um, here we got the disc artwork, hopefully you can see that okay. Um, and then we got this insert, which I'll pull out. But anyway, yeah, so they're, the menus are absolutely terrible, and it's... I mean, it does the job, but here's the thing. If they just changed up a few little things, like if they changed the background and the buttons, I wouldn't hate the menus so much, but they just look so cheap and obviously presets. Like, there's no effort put into them. Um, so here we have the episodes, I hope you can see that, um, it just kind of gives a description of them and some screenshots down the bottom, we got this on the back, kind of cool, and then we have this, just another insert, but it's always nice to have extra little inserts, it just makes it more fun and feel, f you know, fuller, I guess, yeah, nothing too, too exciting, but, um, yeah, it's a, it's a decent show, and I look forward to finishing it, so um, hopefully this is informative, lets you know if you want to buy it or not. Um, I would recommend it, I mean, yeah, the menus suck, but if you just want the show, it's good. Um, other than that, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and please share around to friends. I have been putting in the description of the videos uh, links to other videos, so if you enjoyed this video or you want to just watch some other ones, please feel free to check those out. It, it really does help. Um, so anything you can do like that just would be very greatly appreciated. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.